hello to the global audience of Weixin TV and welcome to this week's Weixin English Weekly Report being broadcast on Monday, May the 20th at 11.30 p.m. Taiwan time. I'm Fiona Yuanxin. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi once served as a national policy advisor to former President Chen Shui-bian of the Republic of China, Taiwan, offering his expertise in Yijin and Feng Shui to provide guidance for the country's development. On May 10th, former President Chen led the recording team from Smile Radio Network to the Taichung Bridge Temple for an exclusive interview with Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi. They engaged in a conversation about the stories of religious practice. Please see the report below. On the morning of the 10th, former President Chen Shui-bian and the recording team from Smile Radio Network arrived at the Taichung Bridge Temple of Chen Jishan Weixin Shenjiao to conduct an exclusive interview with Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi, the founder of Weixin Shenjiao. Master Yuan Xin, the director of the Grand Master's Office, and Master Yuan Qin, the director of Weixin TV, along with the staff of the Taichung Branch Temple, warmly welcomed former President Chen upon his arrival at the entrance of the temple. Former President Chen first offered incense in respect to Wang Chan Lao Zhu at the Taiji Tian Plaza on the first floor. Accompanied by Master Yuan Xin and the fellows, he then proceeded to the Grand Master's office on the sixth floor. Grand Master Wen Yuan Chan Shi, along with President Yuan Yi of Yijin University and Director Yuan Wu of the Weixin World Peace Promotion Association, welcomed former President Chen and the recording team upon his arrival. After taking a group photo, they moved to Yangxian Ho on the seventh floor to begin the program recording. This session was conducted by Smile Radio Network's Having Dreams is the Most Beautiful Thing program, featuring an interview with Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi. Former President Chen, as the host, introduced Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi, whom he has known for several years, to the audience. He discussed the life journey from running a secular surveying company to entering religious practice, and how the principles of Yi Jin can be applied to save the world. He also discussed how Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi takes step by step into spiritual practice, the reasons why Wang Chan Lao Zhu descended to Taiwan to save sentient beings, and the various origins of these events, as well as the continuous efforts over 40 years to promote world peace. Weixin TV will broadcast the full recording of the dialogue between Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi and President Chen Shui-bian on Weixin TV. Please tune in to the program. Weixin Report, Taichung Branch Temple. Chen Jishan Weixin Shenjiao College has organized several field trips for students to inspect different feng shui sites. Recently, Graduate Institute of Applied Yi Jin of Weixin Shenjiao College led students to visit two places. First, Master Yuan Tong to students of the program Weixin Lecture Series to the Hu Shan Yan Temple at Zhanghua County. There, they enjoyed the opportunity to learn about the local humanities and stories behind the 200-year construction. Take a look. On May 14th, Master Yuan Tong, Chair of Graduate Institute of Applied Yijing, led the fellow cultivators of Weixin Shenjiao College to Zhanghua Huatan Township Hu Shanyan for the outdoor function education of the surrounding geography. Previously, Hu Shanyan Guanyin Temple was a simple barn with a pile of straw built by a shepherd boy in Qing Dynasty of Emperor Yongzhen, worshipped a carving clay Guanyin during the time period of Qianlong Emperor. Master Hui Jing traveled here and raised the fund to construct Guanyin Temple. The follower Lai Gaofeng, who was also the land ownership, donated the land to build a temple. It became one of the three major famous temples in Zhanghua from Qing Dynasty. 
and always packed with worshippers till now. Hu Shanyan was named due to the shape of mountains was like a crunched tiger. Master Yuan Tong explained the shape of mountains and pointed out where the tiger's head, ears, belly, and tail to students for better understandings. Master Yuan Tong reminded students that we should observe the original shapes of its surrounding before we constructed a temple, utilized the methodology of Yi Jing and Feng Shui to twist from negative to positive, which is part of why Hu Shanyan Guanyin Temple has achieved the flourishing of a centuries-old history. Master Yuan Tong also had brought students to see the shapes of its surrounding on the right and left-hand side, then further inspect the in residence of Hu Shanyan Stama sponsor. Through the explanation from Master Yuan Tong, students can have a better understanding on how to apply feng shui principles in the graphs of deceased ancestors. Master Yuan Tong also reminded students that when constructing the graphs, the outlet of graph yard and set up the lord of land should follow the principles of feng shui. Otherwise, it will affect their descendants' health and whole family. All students were taking carefully notes, and they were very happy to join this successful field trip. Wei Xing report, Yu Guilin, Zhang Hua. On May 10th, Master Yuan Quan to students of Yijin Feng Shui and Architectural Program at Graduate Institute of Applied Yijin of Weixing Shenzhou College to Jinmen Branch Temple. There, they paid homage to Wang Chan Lao Zhu and toured around Jinmen National Park, the Zhaishan Ken Dao Tunnel, and traditional tribes. The four-day, three-night activity allowed students to understand more about the humanities and the application of young house feng shui in the local areas. Have a look at the footage. The Graduate Institute of Applied Yijin of Weixin Shenzhou College took their Yijin Feng Shui and Architecture course outdoors on May 10th. Led by instructor Master Yuan Quan, Students explored traditional Kinmen villages over four days, studying ancient buildings and local culture, while examining the practical use of feng shui. This outdoor education took students through various villages. Upon arriving in Kinmen, they rented scooters for transportation. Their first stop was Wei Xin Shenzhou's Kinmen Branch Temple to pay respects to the Supreme God Wang Chan Lao Zhu and pray for a safe and successful trip. Led by Master Yuan Quan, they then visited different areas to observe the nature landscapes and study the geographical formations of several villages. They visited temples and shrines, appreciated the ancestral temples of various surnames, and explored unique buildings formed due to wars, such as the Battle Museums, Qin Tian Ho, and Zaishan Tunnel. Also, they witnessed Kinmen's economic development at Kinmen Galleon Liquor Inc. and explored architectural forms spanning from ancient times to the present, such as the Scala Wu's abode and Kinmen military headquarters of the Qin Dynasty. Master Yuan Chen carefully guided the students through each visit explaining the architectural styles and their history by integrating with the feng shui landscape of Kim Men. This experience left the students amazed, and they paid close attention to Master Yuan Chen's teachings, capturing memories with photos and videos to preserve the profound impressions of their journey. Wei Xin Report, Shen Chai Jing, Kim Men. Have a break. We will come back soon. Chanjishan Wei Xin Shenjiao owns a number of 50 branch temples in Taiwan. Fulfilling its religious providence, Guarding the neighborhood and providing companionships, the branch temples have been dedicated to guiding people to endorse Yijin Feng Shui in their daily lives and embark on their religious practices that ease their worries and life. 
slow down their pace and restore their minds into harmony. One of the meanings for establishing the branch temples is offering people the blessings, protection, and empowerment by Wang Chan Laozu in a short distance. We welcome everyone to participate in any Dharma service held by our branch temples. First, this year marks the fourth anniversary of Fengyuan Branch Temple. On May 11th and 12th, Fengyuan Branch Temple launched the anniversary disaster elimination and benediction ritual that prays for blessings and disaster elimination for the good believers. Chan Chishan Wei Xinsheng Zhao Feng Yuan Branch Temple celebrates its anniversary since its launch and held the disaster emanation and the benediction ritual on the afternoon of the 11th. Feng Yuan Branch Temple won the short lecture that reaches pharaohs and volunteers in successfully completing the fourth anniversary ceremony. Under the guidance of Master Yuan Heng, from Weixin Shenzhou Chanting College, the benediction ritual commenced with scripture chanting, inviting giant emperor Wang Chan Lao Zhu, heavenly saints, dignities, and Buddhas to descend radiantly upon the order and the best of blessings. Virtuous pharaohs recited the heavenly virtual scripture of immortal master Gui Gu. Wang Chan Lao Zhu performed the scripture when Yuan 36 Buddhas accomplishment right and the Wei Xin Shen Jiao hard common scripture dedicating merits to enlightened all beings. Under the guidance of Lecture Huang, virtuous pharaohs at the Feng Yuan Branch Temple work diligently to ensure the smooth and successful completion of the ceremony. On the afternoon of the twelfth, Swing Jun was offered to all central beings and prayers were met for Buddhas to bestow blessings on both the Monday world and the underworld. The ritual was completed successfully. Master Yuan Hen and Vector Wang extended blessings to virtuous pharaohs, hoping that all sentient beings can embrace enlightenment in Buddhism. The branch temple also celebrates Mother's Day with cakes, adding joy to the fourth anniversary ceremony, we can report Cai Jiayin, Feng Yuan Branch Temple. Continue with the previous report, Chan Jishan Wei Xin Shen Jiao Ji Long Branch Temple, established in 2007, is Abba Master Yuan Tang, following Wang Chan Lao Zhu's holy revelation, has been preaching the magnificent Dharma of Yi Jin Feng Shui and make good ties with the general public. To celebrate its 17th anniversary on May 10th and 11th, the Bridge Temple launched the Anniversary Disaster Elimination and Benediction Ritual to pray for the harmony and safety for the neighborhood. Now, let's take a look at the highlights. Chen Dishan Wei Xin Shen Jiao Ji Long Branch Temple launched the Anniversary Benediction Ritual on May 10th, led by Master Yuan Meng of Wei Xin Shen Jiao Chanting College. The chanting masters ascended the altar to perform the ritual. Master Yuan Tang, the host of Jilong Branch Temple, led virtuous cultivators in preparing incense, flowers, fruits, and vegetarian delicacies as offerings, earnestly inviting the Great Jade Emperor, Wang Chan Lao Zhu, along with all heavenly sages, deities, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas to descend upon the altar to accept offerings. Also, the Chinese ancestral spirits and all sentient beings were invited to join the ritual to receive the Dharma feasts. To ensure the success of the ritual, Master Yuan Tang led virtuous cultivators in preparing vegetarian dishes and arranging the altar. Chanting masters followed the rites to commence the ritual. Master Yuan Tang led virtuous cultivators to recite the scriptures with chanting masters, including the heavenly virtual scripture of immortal Master Gui Gu, Wang Chan Lao Zhu performed scripture. The Universal Gate Sutra of Guan Yin Bodhisattva and Wei Xin Shen Jiao Heart Calmness Scripture. All the mirrors were transferred to the spirit of the altar. May all the spirits who listened understand deeply, release attachments, resolve conflicts, and together witness enlightenment. On the afternoon of May 11th, there was a sweet do offering rites. Virtuous cultivators sincerely participated. 
and chanting masters dedicated all offerings to the spirit of ten dharma directions through the divine power of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. The ritual was completed successfully. Wei Xin reports Xu Mingzhen Jilong Branch Temple. Chanjishan Wei Xin Shen Jiao San Chong Branch Temple celebrated its 8th anniversary by launching the Anniversary Disaster Elimination and Benediction Ritual on May 12th. Apple Master Yuan Min instructed virtuous cultivators to prepare offerings. To eliminate disasters and spread blessings, Wei Xin Shen Jiao Chanting College Dean of Teaching Affairs, Master Yuan Meng, led chanters to recite Wei Xin Shen Jiao classic scriptures. On May 12, Wei Xin Shen Jiao Santong Branch Temple launched the anniversary benediction ritual. Master Yuan Ming, the host of Santong Branch Temple, guided virtuous cultivators under the chanting sound of the chanting masters of Wei Xin Shen Jiao Chanting College and sincerely invited the great Jade Emperor, Wang Chan Laozu, Guan Bodhisattva, and all heavenly sages, deities, Buddhists, and Bodhisattvas to descend upon the altar and received the feasted Dharma offering, summoned the ancestors of the local neighborhood and ten directions of Dharma realm spirits to listen to the scriptures. May the ancestral spirits be awakened to see the true nature of yourself and reach the enlightenment collectively. All virtuous cultivators followed chanting masters, chanted the heavenly virtue scripture of immortal master Gui Gu, Wang Chan Laozu profound scripture, and universal gate sutra of Guan Yin Bodhisattva. The collective merits dedicated to all spirits on the lotus seats in the ritual. May all spirits reach enlightenment on the noble path, the release of attachments, and rebirth in the pure land. Under the lead of Master Yuan Ming, Virtuous cultivators of Santong Branch Temple diligently prepared vegetarian offerings and arranged the altar with incense, flowers, and vegetarian fruits. Everyone helped to make the ritual a success with care and joy. Toward the end of the ritual, Master ascended the altar to perform a kind act known as the Sweet Dew. Through the powerful blessings of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, the offerings presented by the temple and the congregation multiplied manifold, providing offerings to all sentient beings. May their hunger be relieved as they received abundant offerings, enabling them to persevere in their spiritual journey. In the end, Master Yuan Ming thanked all chanting masters who fulfilled the ritual and invited all virtuous cultivators to enjoy the cake together as the perfect ending. Wei Xin report, Lian Qinglong. Wang Yunzhen, Hong Bi Lian, Sentong Branch Temple. Have a break. We will come back soon. Now, let us set aside our day-to-day -day worries and concerns for a moment, bring quietness to our minds, and appreciate the exhibition entitled The 500 Tathagatas Dragon-Shaped Auspicious Ink Treasures of 80-Year-Old Elder Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi.
Yara kara kas gosu 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 kara sa no 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 ya sa ha ka kas gosu kas gosu 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 yara kara kas gosu 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 sa ara ka no 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 ya sa kas gosu 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 yara kara kas gosu yara kara gosu ya kara no 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 ya sa 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 no 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 The 500 dragon shaped calligraphy paintings of 500 arhats, painted by Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi, had been offered to the ancestral spirits and 10 directions Stama Ran spirits during the 99 day ritual. Now, the 500 calligraphy paintings are exhibited at the first floor of Wen Yuan Cultural Hall. The exhibition is open daily except Mondays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We welcome friends around the world to enjoy the calligraphy paintings and appreciate the martial arts embedded in the forms of the 500 art heads. <laughs> Thank you for watching today's Weixin English Weekly Report. Let's follow the guidance of Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi and realize the goal of our spiritual journey by resolving grievance and eliminating disaster and catastrophes. Together, let us pray the Dharma protecting deities of the Dragon Heaven protect the common people. They resolve all conflicts and stop all wars. We wish for the hearts of all to be filled with love and together pray that the world is at peace. Thank you for watching. Tune into the Weixin English Weekly Report every Monday night at 11.30, Tuesday morning at 11.30, and Tuesday afternoon at 4. May the blessings of Wang Chan Lao Zu bring peace. See you next week.